Welcome to the GARCH modeling tutorial. In this video, we'll construct a GARCH model and derive a volatility forecast. For the sample data, we'll use the log weekly returns for the S&P 500 between January 2009 and July 2012. Before we start the modeling phase, let's take a look at the descriptive statistics table. The weekly returns do not exhibit any significant mean, serial correlation, and follow almost normal distribution. Nevertheless, the series have a significant arch effect, which explains the excess kurtosis. Let's now specify our GARCH model. First, select an empty cell in your worksheet. Then click on the GARCH icon in the NumExcel toolbar. The GARCH wizard pops up on the screen. For the input data, select the cell range for the log weekly returns. Accept all the preset values. A GARCH 1-1 will be printed in our sheet. In the output range, the currently selected cell will be shown by default. Click OK. The GARCH model consists of three parts. Model parameters, goodness of fit, and finally, the residuals diagnosis. Now, let's calibrate the values of the model. Select the cell with GARCH 1-1 text in it. Then click on the calibration icon in the toolbar. The Excel solver pops up with all its parameters pre-initialized. No need to change anything, just click on Solve. Once the solver finds a solution, it pops up a message box to alert the user. Click OK and keep the solver's solution. Now we have optimal values for the fitted GARGE model. Let's compute the long-run volatility implied by the model's parameters values. Type eGARCH underscore VL in the formula bar, then hit on the FX button on the left of the bar. The function accepts two inputs, alpha and beta values of the model. The GARCH underscore VL returns the values of the long-run volatility implied by the model. In this case, it is 3.77% per week, or 27.18% per year. The calibrated model fits the data well and meets the model assumptions for normally distributed residuals. Next, let's compute the volatility forecast and term structure for the next 15 weeks. Once again, select the cell at the top of the model table. Then click on the forecast icon in the NumExcel tab. The forecast dialog pops up. For input data, select the most recent observations. Leave the realized volatility blank. Garch fitted vols will be used instead. Change the forecast horizon to 15 steps. For the output range, select an empty cell in your worksheet. The forecast table is printed in our worksheet. Its standard error is the same as Garch volatility. If you want to add more forecasts to the table, simply add the step number and copy the formulas. Here's the GARCH local volatility and the corresponding term structure. The GARCH model recognizes the low volatility environment, so it will move up to its historical levels. That is it for now. Thank you for watching.